Hi there, good morning. Welcome to KC Video Devotionals for Singles. Today is the 20th of February. My name is Oni Elizabeth. Our topic for today is how to be alert and present to what God is set to do. Be alert, be present. I am about to do something brand new. It is busting up. This morning, I come to you by the Spirit of God. To every man, every woman, single or married, I bring you a word from the Lord. God will do a new thing in your life. The scripture here says, Isaiah 43 verse 19, KJV translation. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This is God speaking. And every time God speaks, his throne backs him up. His words cannot be empty or vain. His word will never go back to him and say it couldn't be done. You can consider it done. Yes, you rightly read it. God will do a new thing in your life, relationship, and all marriage. I bring you a word of hope today that it is not over yet. The very first word in that verse is behold. It means to look intently. You see God wants to do a new thing, but you have to behold first. Beholding is moving from the present situation that looks so overwhelming and challenging to see the reality of what God will do. It is focusing on that flicker of hope in the midst of darkness and allowing that light to flood your soul. The scripture says, now it shall spring forth. When a seed wants to emerge from the ground, it usually springs forth, almost from nowhere. This is what God wants to do in your relationship. Isaiah 53 verse 2a, for it shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. Something new will spring forth. The ground may look dry, but it shall spring forth. There may not be money in that account today, but it shall spring forth. You might not know anybody in that company, yet your job will spring forth. You might have big competitors bidding for the same contract, yet a call from them shall spring forth. You might not have all the papers, yet the visa shall spring forth. 2 Kings 3 verse 17 For thus saith the Lord, you shall not see wind, that shall ye see rain, yet that valley shall be filled with water, that ye may drink both ye and your cattle and your beasts. You might not see money in your account, yet that house and that car will spring forth. How will God do that? He will do, make, manufacture a new thing. God knows the seemingly impossible. God knows the seemingly impossibility of the situation. That is why he went further to say, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. That statement began with, I will even. It is a statement God made to erase every doubt that might want to arise in your heart about the new thing. He will do it in your life. Rivers in the desert, that is a miracle. But if that is what is needed to do a new thing in your life, God will do it. Yes, I know there have been too many mistakes. Somebody might even think her womb is gone. I will do a new thing. Oh, pastor, you don't have an idea of how terrible my marriage is right now. God doesn't need all that to do the new thing he wants to do. Remember, we serve a God that can create something out of nothing. Get ready for the new. Message translation says in Isaiah 43 verse 19, Be alert, be present. I am about to do something brand new. It is busting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I am making road through the desert. Rivers in bad land. You see, this is not the time to be careless. Be alert. Be present. This is not the time to skip attending church or skip reading your Bible. Be sensitive and listen to what the Spirit of God is saying to the church. I'm about to do something brand new. Glory to God. It's bursting out. Suddenly, it will burst out. We serve a God of suddenly who doesn't need a forever to do what he wants to do. You see, when God wants to give you a car, for example, he will not say in Jehovah, Gabriel, Zerubbabel has been faithful, let's give him a car. Give him the windscreen today, and by next week, release the tires. No, God will just give you the key to the car suddenly. But you have to be alert. Read God's word daily. Fellowship with him daily. Watch this devotional daily. Keep feeding your spirit and stay in faith. Then suddenly, how do you get ready for new things? God wants to do in your life. Number one, stay in God's word. Don't miss it daily. Number two, 
fellowship with him daily. Number three, stay away from sin. It is a blessing blocker. Number four, surround yourself with people of faith and not people that will drag you down. Number five, keep on serving God. Don't get tired. Number six, keep on praising God. Don't stop. You can't praise and miss and you can't over praise him. Number seven, keep on giving. So at every opportunity, giving moves the hand of God on your behalf. Give sacrificially. Number eight, forgive all who hurt you. Release them. Number nine, read God's word more. Pray more. Praise more. Give more. Number ten, be expectant of the new. Tomorrow, I will bring the concluding part of this message. I pray for you this day that God will move on your behalf. Jehovah will step into your situation. The heavens are open over you and the new things that you need become a reality in Jesus' name. I see helpers of destiny arise for you now. Amen. Meditation for the day. Isaiah 43 verse 19. BBE translation. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it is starting. Will you not take note of it? I will even make a way in the wasteland and rivers in the dry country. Prayer for the day. O oh Lord, make a way for me. Prayer 2. Let my eyes see the new thing you are about to do in my relationship. O oh Lord, surround me with the right set of people. Confession for the day. God will do a new thing in my life. I am aligning myself to what God is doing. I will not be left out. I will not miss it. I am alert and present. God is moving on my behalf. I forgive all who hurt me. I will not slow myself down. This day, the heavens are open over me. No longer will I operate under closed heaven. In Jesus' name, I have declared. Amen. Action plan for the day. Disconnect from everybody dragging you into the old. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international details, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandhelps.com slash God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage. And these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandlogs.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibada, we'd like you to watch it with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Odita, UI Road, in the city of Ibada. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.